My first actual experience of war was in eastern Ukraine when separatists started taking over buildings in the city of Donetsk. Beautiful, beautiful city in eastern Ukraine near the Russian border. And there were all of these parks and the airport was brand new. When I flew into the airport, I thought I was, you know, in Singapore or something. It was such a glass, shining, gleaming building. And my translator there was um, a young college student named Zhenya. And he narrated, I mean, you know, he was working with me, helping me to translate and find my way around the city, but he was also watching his city, as he knew it, fall apart. This was this beautiful town that was exploding in flowers in the summer, and there were ice cream stalls on the corner, and there were old women walking down the street, and young children playing games, and there were street musicians, and suddenly there were barbed wire barricades and Molotov cocktails. And so he and I spent a week reporting on this, this unfolding crisis, and then I went back to London and I lost touch with him, and just recently I heard from him, and he asked if I would write him an, a recommendation for an international fellowship that he was applying for, and I said, of course. And I said, by the way, where did you end up? What happened? And he said, well, the separatists took over my university building. They just moved into the dorms, took all of our things, took all of my clothes, my books, and so I picked up and I moved to a university in Western Ukraine, and I finished my education there, but my parents are still living in Eastern Ukraine. And he said, and that beautiful airport you flew into is now a smoking shell that's been reduced to a pile of rubble. And, you know, I think that as, as Americans, we sometimes hear about what's happening in Syria or Iraq or Afghanistan. And we, and I include myself in this we, we have a tendency to say, oh, it is so terrible what is happening to those war people. But, you know, well, they're, they're war people and they live in a war place, so it's really a tragedy, but those are war people in a war place, so it's not like, you know, we live in America, it doesn't happen here. But being in Donetsk and seeing this beautiful city with street musicians and, and ice cream vendors and this shiny new airport and these beautiful parks, there are no more war people than we are war people. They happen to be war people now. But it's so easy to sort of write off people who are thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away as different from us in some way because we've never experienced it. And until it happened to Zhenya, he had never experienced it either.